Hi guys, what's happening? You sexy motherfuckers. Uh, I'm gonna speak very quietly today because I've got a little passed out tot in the back. Um, but I wanted to talk a bit about how it's, it's health week. It's NHS week for the Tories. I don't know if you're aware of that, but like last week was small boats week. This week is NHS week. And what, what this is, is during parliamentary recess. So while the MPs are all off on holiday and they're not expected in Westminster, six weeks or seven weeks of parliamentary recess, I can't remember how long it is. Uh, but what they try to do in that time is they try to capture the narrative. They don't want you thinking about how shit everything's gotten, thinking about how high your taxes are, how your energy bills are still colossal, how your mortgage payments have doubled. They don't want you actually focusing on the many, many things, many ways that they've made your life shitter. <laughs> Tangible ways that you've been touched by their terrible governance. They don't want you thinking about any of that. Instead, what they want to do is capture the narrative and funnel out puff pieces about all of their things that they've achieved. But the only thing with that is, like with, with Small Boats Week, turned into a total fucking disaster <laughs> they were supposed to be focusing on like you know stop the boats asylum seekers immigration and what happened <laughs> what happened in that that effort to recapture the narrative lee anderson went on gb news and ostensibly campaigned for labor by saying yeah the government the tories have totally failed on tackling the asylum seeker problem <laughs> he's like we've totally we've messed it up so there's that it was the bibby stockholm you know the ship the barge that they were supposed to be housing 500 asylum seekers on which was a veritable floating petri dish also in small boats week a small boat capsized and 18 refugees died in the english channel so yeah not not a great week not a great week of achievements with regards to stopping the boats anyway now we're in nhs week after the roaring success of last week and if nhs week goes as well as Stop the Boats Week did, then I think we could expect three hospitals to burn down and the corpse of Anya and Beaven to be dug up and slumped over the dispatch box by Wednesday. So <laughs> this is their problem though, man, is like they set themselves up for these sort of parliamentary summer recess weeks where they focus on their achievements. They don't have any fucking achievements. They were voted in on a manifesto in 2019 that was ostensibly get Brexit done. You know, there was some other shit in there, like, you know, we'll build 40 new hospitals. <laughs> we, we all know what happened with that. And I'm not saying they haven't done anything, you know, in the last three years. Obviously, they have done something. I mean, they've, they've criminalised protests, so great job there, lads. But there's just something so deliciously funny about setting these weeks up in which to cite your achievements. But what have they actually done in the last three years to help anyone? 